Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you guys here. We have a lot to talk about. So with all of my makeup videos, I'm always getting asked about a simpler look with less steps and less products. So with that being said, this tutorial is for the quick beats. This is for the corporate job babes. This is for my babes who are just a little too lazy to do a full beat, but you still wanna look good enough and well made up to leave the crib. However, sometimes to comfortably wear and rock less makeup, our skin regimen needs to be top priority of course we're not going for like clear glass skin acne is normal dark spots and blemishes are normal our focus however is more so healthy skin and establishing and investing in a skincare routine and finding products that work for you i'll be sharing a super in-depth routine in the coming months but for now let's simply just get our skin prepped shall we the first step is a step that has been in my routine for a while and to have a nice application of makeup i want really soft smooth skin to do so you'll need a cotton pad you'll also be needing a brow razor or better yet before anybody comes for me professional facial razor if you do have one and lastly you're going to need a chunk of aloe vera this will help to calm and soothe the skin if it gets irritated especially after shaving and most importantly this gel just helps the blade glide so easily on your skin without producing any cuts or anything like that so yeah no fancy technique or anything like that i'm just simply taking off the hair all over my face especially by my ears and my upper lips area. I know some people hate their sideburns, but I don't know, for some reason, I just love mine, especially when it's like sleeked and everything. Like I, I really love my sideburns. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. Just look at how much hair we took off. You honestly wouldn't even have known that it was all there, but I am now left with baby soft skin and ugh, this is just, it's going to be so perfect for the makeup application once we've thoroughly cleansed our skin and you know, gotten all the extra hair and aloe vera off. I'm still in the works of curating a skincare routine that works perfectly for me and once that routine is solid and locked in I'll definitely make a whole skincare routine video for you guys but I did start incorporating some new products into my routine that I'd love to share and for that shout out to Tula for sponsoring this video since the pandemic started I've been in this constant stage of where like I have phases where I struggle with my skin a lot and Tula has genuinely been a brand that I've been meaning to try so I'm super grateful like really really grateful to be partnering with them in this video so Tula is a doctor founded clean and effective skincare brand with products formulated with probiotics extracts and superfoods like i said i've been on this long journey of finding what works for my skin and i have phases where i could just break out really badly so for that matter i've been really really particular about what i put on my skin so it's really comforting knowing that their entire product line is clean and cruelty free not to mention this cult classic cleanser which is infused with white tea and turmeric smells so good like <laughs> like newborn baby good. Which probably makes sense because the founder, Dr. Roshini Raj, is a mom, entrepreneur, and a probiotics expert. But as far as the cleanser, my problem area is always right by my brows. That's where I get the most blemishes, dark spots, and just like, you know, mini pimples. So I'm just making sure I'm getting all up in that section. And after a good cleanse, I'm washing all of this product off. Now, y'all know on a typical day, girl, my head would be in that sink, running some water on my face. But for recording sake and for my setup sake, cause this is in my bathroom. I'm just gonna wipe it off really well using a damp facial towel. The combination of a shaved and clean face just feels so good. And I'm going to keep that softness going by moisturizing using Tula's Hydrating Day and Night Cream and just massage that all into my skin. As part of my nighttime routine, I've been looking for a vitamin C serum that works really well. So I'm definitely gonna try and start incorporating their brightening drop serums so it can ease up and brighten up my dark spots and blemishes that just seem to never wanna leave me alone. I'm definitely gonna keep you guys updated on how I'm liking it but but Tula now also has lip care products called their lip SOS treatment balm which are made of clean ingredients that soften nourish and tint your lips they're packed with hyaluronic acid vitamins E and probiotics of course but enough of the skin talk sha a full skincare video will be out soon I pinky promise but if you guys are really interested try Tula's lip SOS today for an easy addition to your skincare routine simply just go to Tula.com and use my code Lexclusive to get 15% off your Tula order. Moving on with a face this soft and clean, I almost don't want to put makeup over it, but that wouldn't be fair to you guys now, would it? To get started on the makeup, again, we're keeping it light and simple, but that doesn't mean that my brows need to be looking anyhow. I'm tacking and keeping them in place using my Style Factor Edge Control. Again, nothing new, except this time around, I'm not sticking them all the way up like I usually would have if I was doing like a full beat. I'm simply just letting the hairs follow their natural flow. And you guys know that I'm typically 
typically a brows before makeup type of girl you guys see how i like to maintain my brows you know the arch the structure the definition but for my quick beats and especially when i don't have that much time on my hands i love to accompany a softer makeup look with a softer brow look so we're gonna be focusing on the brows a little bit later but for now let's talk about foundation so the key with this softer makeup look is to make sure that you have a foundation that matches very well to your skin tone because unlike a full glam or a soft glam look we're only going to be using enough foundation just on those areas where we feel like we need a little bit more coverage you know like blemishes dark spots or you know just slight discoloration in certain areas i'm using this new pickup it's the nars soft matte foundation it's my first time using it so i don't really have much to say about it but i chose this for light to medium coverage and if you have areas of hyperpigmentation or active acne spots i'd recommend using a color corrector before a layer of foundation and naturally you might find yourself using a full layer of foundation for an even skin tone all around as opposed to just covering just a few areas and spots but you know that's completely okay do what works best for you but just keep in mind that a full layer of foundation doesn't mean a cakey look you're simply just adjusting how much of a product you used based on your specific needs and that is completely fine with this coverage i love how you can still see a few of my blemishes and moles and it just gives a really soft natural look and the brush i'm using is also a new pickup it is the morphe e43 brush but now that we have a good subtle vibe going for us let's brighten the under eye a little bit i'm using the juvia's place concealer in the shade number nine and you can add more or less of this product depending on the coverage that you're going for i'm also using this morphe e49 brush to blend and to help in showing you a good blending technique when you're using a brush instead of blending that concealer from the inside out and just tapping that concealer all the way outwards which can kind of droop the face a bit start by blending out the outward areas first and just give yourself a little bit more control over that concealer and then once you have a nice shape a nice flow going for you then you can go ahead and tap the inner part and keep that concentrated right on the inner parts of your under eye as you can see when you compare the two the second side just created this really nice elevated like facelift type of look while still keeping the brightness right underneath your eyes and to help give your nose a bit of shape as well just tap some of that concealer along the sides of your nose a little bit and this will just kind of like slender your nose a little bit if you need to i really hate to be bringing back-to-back -back makeup videos on my channel like for me i like variety i like different things i like showcasing different parts of my life if i could have had it any other way i would have but unfortunately well fortunately actually really really fortunate i do have obligations and responsibilities tied to these makeup videos so after these makeup videos i promise you're getting variety you're getting content that you've never seen before <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> we i'm coming on with different things okay i'm going straight into setting that concealer using my maybelline loose powder in the shade number 35 and because this tutorial is all about using less product i'm still using that same brush to tap that powder in and just set the concealer in place and obviously you have full authority on how much of each product you want to use you know depending on your needs and you know just feel free to use as much as you need to but for me i'm sticking through with a really light layer of that and plus i really still love a bit of a brighter look under the eyes so i'm going in with the laura mercier setting powder which is totally optional like you don't have to do this if you're content with how it looks already then you know you don't you don't need to go in with the second powder but but for me i'm just tapping this translucent powder under my eyes but my main focus is that inner corner and this brush is actually just perfect for that because it sits right in there like it fits in perfectly and i'm going in layer by layer to just build up that setting powder a bit using small amounts at a time so that you know it doesn't get way too cakey you feel me usually i would cream contour to add definition to the face but for the sake of a softer more natural look i chose to opt out of that extra step in my routine and I just decided to combine both my blush and contour in the same step and I'm using powder forms to sculpt and structure my face using both of Julius Place's blush and bronzer palettes and to be fair actually I only use the blush palette but I did show both of these just to emphasize that you do have options if you choose to both contour and blush but blushing alone worked perfectly fine for me and if it were a regular day that I did this look I, I would have left out the contour as well I just think it looks really nice and you know I'm content to add a soft filter effect to my look i went in with my l'oreal infallible powder totally an optional step as well but i'm keeping this as realistic as possible with showing you what i would actually do and this powder just works for me like it works perfectly and i feel like it's a key product because this will just help balance out everything and make it look like you have a full bead of makeup when in actuality you don't i just took a fluffy brush and i buffed that all over my face and i also did decide to go in with a smaller eyeshadow brush to just bronze up my eyelids 
eyelids a little bit you know add some warm tones to the lid and also just brush that powder along the sides of my nose since we didn't do cream contour to structure and define my nose like I usually would have adding a bit of this powder will just help with softly defining your nose and you know it'll make it look like you spent a bit more time on your nose when we really didn't but we're almost done with completing our face we're moving into brows now and I'm going to be lightly filling in my brows just to wake them up a little bit since we sleek them down it's been holding up its shape so all I have to do is just take my brow pencil and start defining the line at the top and bottom and you know just kind of follow the shape that my brows already do have I tried adding hair strokes in the fronts like I usually do but I feel like today was a little bit of a fail and that's okay maybe the pencil was a bit too blunt but it's okay it, it worked out in the end still so yeah, I'm just going in to clean up any of my mistakes with some concealer and I'm using the makeup revolutions concealer in C13 and I'm just concealing the bottom of my brows using the morphe m167 brush and this just adds a bit more like vim to the look if that makes sense I feel like my entire look would have been so dead if my brows weren't concealed and defined but you could have gone without concealing it if you didn't want to but you know that just it don't work for me okay I'm keeping it realistic it does not work for me the only thing that I don't conceal though is the top of my brows um if you want to you could but for me I don't so with the buffing brush I'm blending out that concealer a little bit and I just moved right into completing the eye look with the mascara now I'm using a high school fave of mine which is the Maybelline mascara to really bring some dramatics to the lashes and on a regular day or let's say I was in a rush or something I'd most likely leave the house with no falsies and this mascara just makes me comfortable enough to do that because I mean just take a look at it like it brought some nice emphasis to my lashes that were completely invisible but for me personally I really do love the look of lashes and that's what I decided to settle for and these are just really soft yet dramatic and wispy enough and it's definitely going to get the job done but to finally complete the makeup look this is probably the quickest makeup video that I've ever done but it's worth it it's worth it I'm not doing anything too crazy with my lips um yeah in fact on a regular day some gloss would have sufficed uh yeah but I will go in today with a really soft brown lip and I'm starting by lining my lips and complimenting it with the Juvia's Place lipstick in toffee it was the perfect way to finish off this look I feel like it worked you could have done anything else to your lips you know anything that makes your heart happy but lastly I didn't go into as many steps to really create that nice silhouette that I like to go for with my nose but we can definitely fake it like we did spend some time on our nose using some highlighter and to create that illusion of a lightly chiseled nose I'm just gonna take some highlighter to highlight the bridge of my nose as well as the tip of my nose and with that my subtle let's do something real quick before we leave the crib makeup is complete it's not too bad like it's actually not too bad if I do say so myself it works wonderfully to serve its purpose and if you were looking for a tutorial like this I hope I helped you with cutting down your steps with an effective makeup routine and with that being said I will see you babes in my next video